Greetings, I am Minister Christopher A. Darby, and I'm honored to facilitate this week's Bible lesson. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118.24 I want to thank God and the Holy Spirit for their presence today. Also give thanks and honor to our pastor, Moderator Emeritus J.A. Milan, for giving me this opportunity to teach. And thanks to the other ministers, officers, and the members for your prayers and support during these studies. Let us pray. Dear God, I thank you for giving me my health and strength, wisdom and understanding of your word. I pray now that you will use me as your instrument today to teach your people. I give you praise, glory, and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. The topic of today's lesson, 5BX Spiritual Fitness Plan. That's the 5BX Basic Exercise Spiritual Fitness Plan. This is a practical lesson based on the scripture text, 1 Timothy 4, 7 through 9. The text says, have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. In the late 1950s, there was an exercise program called 5BX five basic exercises. It was developed for the Royal Canadian Air Force. The 5BX plan was published as a booklet with 23 million copies sold in Canada. It consisted of five exercises to be done daily in 11 minute intervals. In this lesson, I would like to suggest a similar 5BX plan designed for Christians to aid their spiritual growth and development, consistent of five spiritual exercises to be done daily, though not in 11 minutes, but in as much time as needed to strengthen your spiritual growth. I call it the 5BX Spiritual Fitness Plan. Are you spiritually fit? In the original 5BX plan, the first exercise involves stretching. Our spiritual 5BX plan begins with a daily regimen that will stretch our souls. Read the Word of God. Reading the Word of God is the means by which we grow spiritually. It was by the Word of God that Jesus resisted the devil. It is by God's Word in our hearts that we can resist sin. The Word of God is therefore foundational to our spiritual fitness. We must therefore develop the habit of reading the Word daily. Start slow, perhaps with the New Testament a chapter a day. Progress to reading the Bible through each year. Read devotionally, medit meditating on what you read. The Word of God will help you to grow in grace and knowledge. In the original 5BX plan, the second exercise involved sit-ups to strengthen the midsection. Our spiritual 5BX plan involves a spiritual exercise that will empower our souls. Spend time in prayer. The power of prayer. There's forgiveness from God. There is peace from God. There is strength from God. There is opportunity from God. There is boldness from God. There is wisdom from God. There is healing from God. There is tranquility from God. Together with the word, prayer is foundational to spiritual fitness. Praying fervently as you read the Word of God. Pray for wisdom. Pray daily for forgiveness, strength, opportunity, boldness. 
as needed. Pray for peace, healing, tranquility. Continue earnestly in prayer, vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Consistent, fervent prayer will strengthen your relationship with God. In the original 5BX plan, the third exercise involved back extensions that increase flexibility. Our spiritual 5BX plan involves a spiritual exercise that will enrich our souls. Sing praises. The role of singing. One purpose of singing is to praise God. It is a type of spiritual sacrifice that we offer to God. A way to be filled with grace and melody in our hearts. A way to respond to the goodness of God. Singing praises is foundational to our spiritual well-being. Singing praises. Make praising God in song a part of your daily devotional, either by listening to hymns or singing them yourself. Sing while you drive, while you work, either quietly or aloud. Make melody in your heart. Sing with grace in your heart. Singing enriches our souls and fortifies our relationship with God. The fourth exercise in the original 5DX plan was push-ups to strengthen the upper body. Our spiritual 5DX plan involves a spiritual activity that strengthens our relationship with God and other Christians. It's called fellowship with brethren. The importance of fellowship. The church is the body of Christ which is built up when each part does its share. Our assembling is designed to stir one another to love and good works. Our fellowship is a source of comfort and edification, a way to avoid becoming hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Frequent fellowship is crucial to remaining faithful and steadfast. Experiencing worship, assemble together with Christians every opportunity you can. Take advantage of the assemblies offered by the local congregation, not just one time on Sunday, but every time the door is open. Look for ways to be with Christians daily by phone, Bible studies, social activities, and fellowship with other Christians strengthens one's faith in God. The fifth and final exercise in the original 5BX was running in place or walking to increase endurance. Our spiritual 5BX plan includes a spiritual activity that produces endurance as well. Do good works, the role of good works. We are not saved by good works, but we are created in Christ for good works, to glorify God. Thus, we are to be fruitful in every good work. We are not to grow weary in doing good, Good works are essential if we are going to reap spiritual benefits. Doing good works, share the gospel with the lost, minister to brethren and to the lost in need, whether physical or spiritual. Utilize your resources, time, money, talents to help the poor or sick. Each day, try to do something that blesses another person. Good works done systematically build spiritual endurance. Well, this lesson we have seen that the 5BX Spiritual Fitness Plan contains these five elements. Read the Word of God, spend time in prayer, sing praises, fellowship with brethren, do good works, engage in daily opp opportunities. I believe they go a long way to developing strong Christians. But please note, that these are basic exercises. I'm not suggesting they are everything a Christian needs to do. However, they will establish a good foundation of spiritual fitness. Perhaps you might find this plan helpful as you seek to carry out the admonition given by Paul to the young Timothy. He says, exercise yourself toward godliness for bodily exercise profits a little but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is. Today's lesson has been entitled 5BX Spiritual Fitness Plan. Scripture text 1 Timothy 4, 
7 through 9, a practical lesson. Let us pray. God, we thank you once again for another opportunity that you have afforded us to come forth with another Bible lesson. We pray that something has been said to help someone along this tedious journey. We pray for our pastor, Pastor Molan and his wife. We pray for their family. We pray for the officers and members of the Greater Peace Church. We also pray for those who are listening today by way of live stream, praying that something has been said to help them. God, we also pray that if there's someone listening who has not accepted you as their personal Savior, that they receive you today by confessing with their mouth the Lord Jesus, believing in their heart that you have raised Jesus from the grave, they may be saved. May God bless you and keep you as our prayer.